Finding the inverse of a function algebraically. So for these particular examples, what we want to do is find an equation for a inverse function. We're given a function here. In this case, we know that our equation is a line. 3x minus 2, we know that's a line, therefore we know it's 1 to 1, and it's going to have an inverse. Okay. So how we find a inverse is by switching our x and our y. For this particular problem, we don't have a y, but what we need to remember is f of x is the same thing as y. So just by replacing f of x with y, 3x minus 2, I now have an equation using x and y. To find the inverse, we switch x and y's. Okay? So every time we see an x, we throw in a y. Every time we see a y, we throw in an x. Okay? And we're used to seeing equations y equals. So really from here, all we want to do is solve for y. Okay? So do that as we would any other equation. Add 2 to both sides. x plus 2 is equal to 3y. Divide by 3. x plus 2 over 3 is equal to y. And then we found y, but we were asked to find f inverse of x. Once we switch our variables, solve for y, this is now the inverse. Okay, so we can replace our y with our inverse notation, x plus 2 over 3. Okay, so to find the inverse, it's quite simple. Make sure you, if you have enough of x, replace it with y. Solve through, sorry, switch your x and y's. Solve through for y, making sure to replace it with your inverse notation at the end. Now, some features do do this a little bit different, and I just want to touch on that for a second you don't have to switch x and y right here. Okay? What you could do is actually solve for this x and then switch it. In general, I tend to shy away from that just because I'm so used to solving for y, where what I've done is I've done problems where I haven't switched it. Halfway down the problem, I forget that I'm solving for x, go back, solve for y, and I end up with exactly what I started with. Okay? But if you can keep track what you're solving for, that's perfectly acceptable. For me, I always switch it fairly one of my first steps, solve for y, and then just make sure you replace your inverse notation.